Hi! <laughs> Welcome to another video. I seem really weird right now, but it's because, um, what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Well, anyways, today I'm here to give you guys a little haul of my K-pop merch. This is the reason why this is here because I have a mirror right here and you can see almost everything and I can't find a good angle because if I turn it too much that way you can see what's on the end of the shelf and then the mirror, yeah. Anyways, it's been maybe a year now, who knows, but I know I did it in August, but it's been maybe a year, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less since I last showed you guys my K-pop collection. We have, it has grown a lot, like a lot, <laughs> but anyways, yes, let me show you my K-pop merch, so let's go. I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably like, why is she always wearing that shirt? <laughs> but I'm not. It just so happens that every time I'm filming, I'm wearing this shirt. But the outfit, the skirt, or the pants, or the shorts, whatever I'm wearing is usually different. So it's not the same, it's just the same shirt, and then sometimes the same jewelry, and then you know this. But anyways, let's move on to what we were focusing on the other day for me, but the last clip for you, which is the merch. <laughs> so I have my sketchbook here because for some reason, I decided to do this in my sketchbook of everything here, where it's from, how much it costs, and all that stuff. And then you're gonna see a little video, because I'm gonna get it all crazy with this. You're gonna see a little video of, like, you know, me pretend opening this stuff again. Anyway, let's get started. So, if you can see, I don't know if you guys can exactly see what's up here, because, like, for my camera, like, I'd like get this close to be able to see what the heck I'm looking at. It's also now focused on this stuff as well. I have a headache. So we're gonna go from this way to this way, which is your left to right. So the first thing you see here is the TXT Light Sick version one because we only have one version for right now. And I got this from Amazon for $69.90, but that's before tax because then it comes up to $75.75, which is a little bit crazy. But if you think about it, this it was almost the same price as this one over here, which we're gonna get to that one later. But I got it from Amazon for about $76 because shipping and then Prime. But the thing is that I ended up getting it in like three days because I ordered it with Prime and I also ordered it from like what is it a third party or is it like a second party I don't know but it didn't come straight from Korea it was here in America and it came in like three days and it's beautiful I suggest if you like TXT and you're very iffy about getting the light stick or not I would suggest getting the light stick because the colors are very pretty if you saw my last video go look and then moving on from the light stick we come up to the dream chapter star which I got from Amazon for $26.90 but this is also before shipping and it comes with like a little young Jun photo card here well not for you it'll come with like other members but yeah it comes with like a little photo card right here and then a little photo card holder it also comes with like a holographic member and then it comes with a little keychain who you know i got here in kai for it's like a little baby i don't know what it says it's in korean but yes it's cool and then if you shine this in the light like the cover the plastic cover it's very nice it gives off a rainbow and the next thing we're going to focus on here is the map of the soul seven set that I have right here. So with the set right here, cause you know, it's all four. It was, I didn't buy the full set off of Weaver Shop or anything, but I did get the first one. But I did get one of them of Weaver Shop. I don't remember how much it is, but if you wanna buy the full set of a Weaver Shop, it's about, it's gonna be like $70, but like without shipping. So that's gonna be like maybe $100, maybe more if you add in the shipping to get it off of Weaver. But if you wanna buy it individually, you'll still probably spend like almost the same amount of money, like 80 bucks maybe. And to buy it, I bought some of them from Target and I bought some of them from Amazon. So I can't really explain to you, but like if you buy it from like if you buy it individually, then it goes from like $25 to like $30. I was thinking I bought one of them from Barnes and Nobles, but I don't remember. If you buy from Barnes and Nobles, then that's where it's more on the more expensive range. If you also buy it from Newberry Comics, it's also gonna be a bit more expensive as well. The next thing we're gonna focus on here is the Koya ears that I have down here. You could probably see it because I'm gonna show a little like you know, little B clips. But I got the Koya ears from the line store and I don't remember how much they were at the line store because that was over a year ago because it's been over a year now with me collecting BTS stuff. So I got the Koya ears from the line store because there wasn't much of the line store when I went because the one that I have is in the city and that one is always lacking. <laughs> that one lacks a lot like I need to go to a different line store. That one could be better <laughs> but if you go on Amazon the Koya ones are only going for $10 but that's without shipping but then again they go fast like BT21 merch goes fast on Amazon so right now when I did my research yesterday 
yesterday about how much they were on Amazon. It was $10, but they were selling out. Like it was only like three left. So they could possibly be more than $10 now because on Amazon, the prices always change depending on how much is in stock, which is ridiculous. And the, which ones? I don't remember. I think the main one, I think that one was like almost 20 bucks. And I was like, wow, what are these? Why are they different in price? Why does it differ so much? But I, I don't know. The next thing you see here is like this little stand and it comes with a tier album but we'll talk about that later when we get up there. And after that you see the TXT Dream Temperature Magic album here. The second version I think is the green one. Yeah. And it comes with like a little, I don't know how what this is called. Kendall will put it up on the screen. <laughs> but yes. And then you get like a little member in the front and it comes with like a little post-it note. And then it comes with like, it comes with like two photo cards which is like most of their stuff kind of comes with two photo cards but except one's not really a photo card, it's more like a keychain type thing and then one is an actual photo card so mine came with a Han and Kai photo card right here 2002 08 14 his birthday just passed then we have a young gen little keychain thing which if i wanted to attach to that i could and by that i mean the other keychain that came with the dream chapter star and then moving on going towards this side you then see more map of the soul merch this is the family photo here you'll be able to see it more up close but this is the family photo from i don't remember which version this is from because i pre-ordered one of the versions off of weaver shop but this is came with the pre-order i suggest pre-ordering stuff from weaver shop because more likely to get like the extra stuff that a pre-order would come with because for example i pre-ordered uh memories of 2019 which i'm still waiting now but if you pre-order it comes with like a puzzle and then it comes with like a family another family photo and then it comes with something else i don't know but then you are most likely to get like the extra stuff that pre-order would come with and as well as a rolled up poster so you get like a tube like a poster in a tube so i suggest pre-ordering stuff from weaver shop but if it's too expensive then obviously you can just pre-order from like target or other places that allow you to pre <laughs> and then all this stuff sitting right here is just like stuff I'm gonna sell on Mercari, which I think you should check that out, that shop out too. And then this is my Jimin. This is like, this is not a photo card, but this is the, the Polaroid that comes with what's up there. So we'll also get to that later as well. And the last thing on the shelf is the Army Bomb version three right here which we all know what happened with that i accidentally ordered version three when i meant to order version map of the soul which i keep finding cheap ones on mercari with the photo cards and everything but then i keep just the new slip out of my hand because i'm being too hesitant to buy it i don't know why but yeah but this i ordered from weaver shop and it was 29.70 before shipping but then became 52.70 after shipping so yeah you see the big difference there and also i suggest buying from global on weaver shop because things are like ten dollars cheaper on global than it is in usa and this is light stick is really cool too i want to collect all the light sticks which i don't know why i just found a newfound love for all the light sticks even though not all the versions are pretty to just have the whole collection that'd be really nice because that's what i plan on doing with txt if i continue to stand in the future but yeah so that was everything off this shelf and now it's time to move up another shelf <laughs> welcome to the second shelf <laughs> i'm standing on a step stool right now because i i would that would this would just look real awkward <laughs> now this shelf i don't like the way this shelf look i need to fix it up anyways we're also gonna start from your left to your right for this shelf no we're not kind of decided she didn't want to do that <laughs> we're gonna start from your left, I mean your right, going to the left with the shelf. And the first thing that's over here, can you see it? I hope you can. First thing that's over here is the Mang Handy Fan, which you may have saw the box down here for it, right here. And I got this because it's it's been a real hot summer, but I never used it. It's just kind of here for decoration. But anyway, <laughs> I got this light, st light stick. I got this Handy Fan from Amazon for $13.47, which I think is a freaking steal. But once again, it's kind of like the Mang ears. You get it for that price and you may not get it for that price again because it goes to different sellers and then if it's really sold out you can't find it anywhere then it sells for one like 50 bucks which is the same thing with pops which we're gonna talk about later but yes i got this from amazon it works really well like it has three settings so this is setting one the two oh that is three they do have three settings this is like <laughs> this is a real good fan <laughs> oh no it stopped I probably need to charge it. And it charges with like a like a Samsung charger. Or like if you have a JBL speaker, you can probably charge it with that charger too. So yeah, it doesn't come with the charger, the one that I got. Anyways, 
Moving on. <laughs> now we're gonna be looking at the Koya Pop. I'm out of the screen. But we're gonna be looking at the Koya Pop that's up here. And I got this from Barnes and Nobles. I got this from Barnes and Nobles for 10 bucks. They were doing a two for, I don't remember what the sale was, but I think Barnes and Nobles was doing a two for 10 sale. These are each originally like $12 at Barnes and Nobles. And I wanted to get the full set, but the full set was close to $80 and I was not willing to pay $80 all at once. But yes, this is the Koya Pop. It comes with, of course, all the other pops, but I just wanted to get the separate one because the one with all of them together was expensive. And I bought it with the Hello Kitty one, but we're not here to talk about Hello Kitty today. So, but yeah, these are $12.50 at Barnes & Nobles without the sale that I got. And then next, we're gonna talk about this Fuji film little book right here. This is where all my photo cards are stored. And I decorate it with stickers because that is my thing, to decorate things with stickers. Yeah, I have all my photo cards in it. You can probably see all the photo cards. And we're organizing everything by like order of like which came first. So that thing is going to be filled up. And I bought it from Amazon and it was only $7.97 before shipping, of course. And I suggest if you want a small, compact little photo card holder, then get the Fujifilm one. Because it holds Polaroids, but it can also hold photo cards. Because photo cards are the same size as mini Polaroids. So yeah. And also, I really wanted to get the one that they sold for like Map of the Soul. But then that one was expensive coming from Weaver Shop. And then when I looked on my card to find somebody who maybe was selling it for cheaper, Nobody was selling it for cheaper, they were selling it for a lot more than what Weaver Shop was charging. And I was like, all right, so we're just gonna have to stick with the Fujifilm one, which I'm fine with, because I decorated it with my stickers and it looks nice. Next page. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the Army Membership Kit, which reminds me I have to renew my membership on the 30th. The Army Membership Kit I bought from Weaver Shop, of course, because I think that's the only place you can actually buy it. Maybe other shops sell it to other K-pop shops, but I suggest buying it from Weaver Shop because you get points from buying things from Weaver Shop too. But it was $30 without shipping and then it was $67.49 with shipping from Weavers, which they are charging a lot more now than they were before, but that's not surprising. <laughs> Next thing I want to talk about is the RG, RG, RJ clip that we have right here, which we got from Barnes & Nobles for $10. I was wanted to buy all of them because, you know, it's seem cheap but then if you think about that $70 for all of them then I wasn't gonna do that <laughs> but I don't know if I'm gonna put this on my keychain or anything like that because my Koya right now is suffering I need to wash I need to wash Koya and the next thing we're gonna talk about is the main standing doll which why are you standing this way and we also got this from the line store if any of you remember and I don't remember how much it was but then when I searched up on Amazon it ranged from $26 to $50 which is crazy so I should just really if you want to get that then go to the line store <laughs> but it's kind of the core years once it sells out and if it sells out on Amazon then that means other people are gonna be selling it but gonna be selling it for like an arm and a leg so yeah um the next thing that we're talking about sorry but you need to move for this <laughs> is Oriolate 2, which is really small right here. But yeah, and if you remember, I got, this was in the last little merch haul that I did, but I got it from Amazon for $20.80. But if you look on Amazon right now, it's only selling for $18. Then again, I think it's because it's been a year now, so it's like an older album. So it's gained another year on itself. So it went down in price, only by a little bit. But still, $18 is better than $20. <laughs> but that was also before shipping. So I don't know how much it's gonna be if you add shipping to that. Maybe it's still 20 bucks if you add shipping. And the next level we have is School of Affair. And I got this from Newberry Comic, but it ranges because I don't really remember how much it was, but it ranged from like $23 to $27. Because Newberry Comics is kind of expensive. But the next we have Dark and Wild, which I bought from Amazon for $23.99 before shipping. And I love this. I've been contemplating getting this one for a really long time. I had to get it. I love the way it looks. It's very sparkly and shiny and just iridescent. I love when albums look like that. As you know from the last haul that I did, I was in love with the way that this Love Yourself series looked in the sunlight. Anyways, <laughs> next we have Young Forever Night version and the Day version, which, whoo, separately, these were $43 each. And together, they came out to be $86 plus tax. Can you guess where I got them from? Newberry Comics. <laughs> the most, one of the most expensive stores you can get K-pop stuff from because they charge 180 for Memories of 2018 and I just don't want to do that. If you want to buy the Young Forever Night and Day, I don't suggest going to Newberry Comics. I suggest Amazon because even though Amazon is charging 30 bucks for each, it's still cheaper than charging 43 for each. The next albums that you see here are Love Yourself, Her, and I have versions V and E. I'm missing two versions from each from the Love Yourself series. Not missing, I just haven't bought. Because that's two, four, six more albums from Love Yourself that I need to buy and I don't want to do that yet. But yes, 
these also range because i think i bought both of these from target but i think one was cheaper than the other so it ranges from like 17 dollars to like 23 dollars and you could also get it from amazon but amazon is more expensive than target when it comes to the love yourself series so yeah the next we have is the love yourself tier which these ones these were more expensive because they're from newberry comics of course that's my go-to store because it's closer is it closer than barnes and nobles i don't think it's closer than barnes and nobles barnes and nobles and newberry comics are both expensive but newberry comics is just a little bit more and they have more stuff barnes and nobles you're not that guaranteed to go there and get something so i should just look on the barnes and nobles website because when i was looking on there they had like almost everything and I was like, wow, I didn't know we were this stocked Barnes & Nobles. Why are you hiding it in the back <laughs> when I come there to purchase something? <laughs> we got both of these from Newberry Comics. These range from like $23 to like $30 for these ones right here. I don't know why, but Tears is just more expensive than her is. And the last one, which is Answer, which is E and F that we have here. We got this, we got one of them from Urban Outfitters and then we got one of them from Target. So the one from Urban Outfitters was $22.38 without shipping. <laughs> and the other one from Target it was ranging from twenty dollars to like twenty five dollars you can look it on up on target the website like to find the actual legit prices instead of just the range but yeah and then the next album that we're going to talk about is the map of the soul persona and you guys already know what happened with this we could have bought it from weaver shop as a set and spent less money than we did buying it one by one <laughs> but the thing about buying one by one is that if you buy from amazon you're more likely to get like freebies when you just buy like a few from amazon this in all it ranged like this is like the biggest range that i bought because for the set on weaver shop is 52 plus tax plus the shipping <laughs> and then to buy it from target it ranges from like 20 dollars to like 25 dollars and to buy it from amazon it ranges from like 13 dollars to like 20 dollars but it could be more now the last album that we're going to talk about which is not really an album it's just like a just a soundtrack i guess from bts world is it's, it's the bts world thing which you can't really see here but don't worry and i bought this from barnes and nobles for 25 bucks but plus tax so yeah which it wasn't that expensive when i looked at it i was like wow only 25 like that but yeah came with some like nice stuff though came with extra stuff and, and a poster so we got the whole the whole package instead of you know how target does you sometimes or target doesn't even give you a photo card sometimes which is crazy and then the next thing we're going to talk about is this shooky plushie here that we got from barnes and nobles and it comes with like that little bag that says like shooky and yunkies signature on it and this was $30 but it's so soft and like I love it and I usually lay with it but I just put it up here for you let's go back down so I can be in a comfortable position thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoy this little haul of my k-pop merch although I didn't show you like the posters because I have a lot of posters and I just don't know this video is already long in itself because this is like my this is like my fourth like video that I'm recording to like you know on my camera so yes i will show you the posters another time i guess thank you for watching i hope you like this i hope you subscribe i see a lot of y'all subscribing i don't know where you're coming from thank you for watching thank you for subscribing because there's a lot of you and i, I like that thank you <laughs> keep coming i guess i will continue to upload the more you guys come the more i'll feel motivated to upload yeah don't let that be a burden on you though it's not it's just me yeah but but but, but yes <laughs> thank you for watching subscribe like go check out my instagram go check my depop selling a lot of stuff on there gonna be selling a lot of new stuff that i'm gonna put up um i may sell some stuff on mercari like my extra little freebies that i get from buying this stuff <laughs> see you in my next video peace out <laughs>